sweeping changes to the leasehold system in England are being promised by the government, including possibly abolishing it altogether. Leaseholders own their own property for a set period of time, but a freeholder owns the land that it's built on. In 2020 to 2021, there were an estimated 4.86 million leasehold dwellings in England. This amounts to 20% of all English housing stock. 71% of the leasehold dwellings in England are flats, 29% are houses. The Housing Secretary Michael Gove says it's a fundamentally unfair system and has said that he'll introduce new laws soon. Our political correspondent Alex Forsyth has been to Leeds to meet some leaseholders who want to see change. I own my property, allegedly, but I don't really. I know that I'll never buy leasehold again. There doesn't seem to be any accountability. Across this city, property owners have been telling me about their problems with the leasehold system. Alan. Hello, Alex. Hello. Take Alan. He owns his flat on the outskirts of Leeds, but recently Alan and his neighbours were landed with bills they didn't expect. They were told the rent they pay for the ground their properties are on was going up and the increase would be backdated. When I actually saw that the bill was for nearly £900. I think my jaw dropped. The company that owns the land is within its rights to raise their ground rents. It has now reduced some amounts and offered payment plans, but it's left Carol feeling insecure. You think you've looked into things properly, but leasehold is a minefield. It's an absolute minefield. It's, it's like a money pit. Across England, one in five homes are leasehold properties. Many are flats in cities like Leeds that offer a chance to get on the ladder. But leaseholders have fewer rights over their properties than outright owners. They face fees and charges, often on top of mortgages, and can sometimes find it hard to buy or sell their way out. Hi, Emily. Hi, I'm yes. Alex. Take really Emily, who you. bought her flat five years ago. I can't even explain how proud I was for, for being on the property ladder. For her, like many leaseholders, the tragedy at Grenfell Tower exposed wider problems with the system. Her building needs safety work. The government's paying for it. But while the building and estate owners negotiate timescales, Emily's left with higher fees for insurance and feels powerless over her property and future. I'm going to have to wait for for these works to be completed before I can even consider selling, basically. Um, so I have no idea how long I'm going to be stuck in this flat for now. It's having a massive, massive toll mentally and financially on me. I feel absolutely exhausted. I feel like the last few years of my life have just been completely overshadowed by, by this. The government has already made changes to try to make the system fairer, including ending ground rent for new leaseholders. But it plans to go much further. The Housing Secretary, Michael Gove, has said he wants to abolish leasehold entirely. He's looking at something called common hold as an alternative, where occupants jointly own and take responsibility for their building. This government knows there's a generation facing complex housing problems. The question is whether it has the political will and the time to sort some of them out. Sheila hopes so. She loves the leasehold flat she bought in Leeds to rent out, but says it's a constant battle to ensure the building it's in is being properly maintained. I shouldn't be having to use a disproportionate amount of my time doing this level of paperwork and to get people to do a job that I'm paying them a management fee to carry out. The property managers here say the safety of their leaseholders is their utmost priority. But Sheila's experience of being a leaseholder has left her wanting to see the back of the whole system, something that could now be coming down the road. Alex Forsyth, BBC News, Leeds.